lovely sunny Sunday morning in Pontypandy. And the folk of Pontypandy are waiting for Trevor Evans in the open top bus. They're all going on a trip around Pontypandy and they're going to make a special visit to the Pontypandy Lighthouse. Mandy Flood and Naughty Norman Price can't wait to get to the lighthouse. They can't wait to see Mike Flood and to try out the light for themselves. They had only been waiting a few minutes and Naughty Norman Price was already saying that he was bored and where is Trevor Evans? But what's that sound? Sounds like he's coming now. And here he is, sure enough, in the lovely red open top city bus. Trevor parks the bus up and then sees all the passengers on board. First on is Dillis Price. Dillis is very happy about being part of the day out today because she's rather sweet on Trevor Evans and just loves to spend time with him. Next on is Mandy and Helen Flood. They love to be out and about and spend time together. And last on is Naughty Norman Price and the Purple Minion. So Trevor Evans says, I don't want any of your normal shenanigans, you know, boys. I just want a nice day out. Do you think you can behave yourself? Oh, yes, of course we can, Trevor. We'll be no problem. OK, then. Hop on board. <laughs> On the board then, says Trevor Evans. The purple minion was sitting out front and Naughty Norman was just behind him, hanging out the top of the bus to get a good view. And it wasn't long until Naughty Norman was being playful with the purple minion and he was tickling his hair. Minion didn't like this and he caused Trevor Evans to swerve. He was flapping his arms all over the place. There's going to be a disaster. Meanwhile, Cruella Deville was out and about doing some Sunday morning shopping. She decided just to park her Porsche anywhere. She parked it in a very dangerous place and here comes Trevor Evans in the bus out of control. He's swerved to Miss Corella Deville's Porsche and he's crashed into the bus stop. Corella Deville decided to abandon her shopping trip and sped off in her Porsche. But disaster has struck the bus stops are light and Trevor Evans has got a bus full of people. I need to get them off here quick. They all piled off the bus and went to a safe place. Phew, thought Trevor Evans. He reversed the city bus out of the way and parked just outside Dillis Price's lovely shop and decided to call for Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam now. And he's brought Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris with him to help. Elvis was in charge of making sure that the people stood well back for safety purposes, especially that Norman Price. And Penny Morris and Fireman Sam used the super soaker. Done. That was a top job. And the crowd loud out a big cheer for the very brave firefighters. 
Trevor Evans couldn't thank Fireman Sam enough. I would have been in a right old pickle if you hadn't come along, Fireman Sam. Well, it's all in the day's work, Trevor. No need to worry. Glad to help. But what on earth happened? Well, the purple minion was up front and Naughty Norman was behind him and, well, lots of shenanigans went on causing me to swerve the bus. Oh dear, oh dearie me, that is not good, Norman. And as for you, Purple Minion, you know that that's wrong. I don't think that you two should ride up the front anymore. I think that you should ride in the back. But Mandy was sad. Mum, we didn't get to go to the lighthouse. Well, no, we didn't, Mandy. I know, says Fireman Sam. I'll take you up to the lighthouse in Jupiter after I've finished my ship. How about that then? Hooray, says Mandy. Boo, says Norman. So then guys, if you like Fireman Sam and if you like toys, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also, in a moment, four boxes will appear. And if you touch on one of those boxes, you will see more Fireman Sam fun. Hello. Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back. So we've been having a Fireman Sam day and I've already reviewed this particular toy. It's a Pocket Pals talking keychain so check out that video. And now I'm going to be taking a look at the Friction Action Rescue Vehicle, the 4x4 featuring Tom Thomas. And next I'll be looking at Wallaby One and that has Tom Thomas in too so check that one out. But first let's take a look at the Mountain Rescue Vehicle. This is an awesome toy featuring Tom Thomas from the Fine and Sam range. Be sure to like this video, also be sure to subscribe. Hello 
there boys and girls. Today we're in Ponty Pandy with Fireman Sam and he's going to show you all his top most favourite vehicles. Let's get cracking! This is the yellow 4x4 state of the art mountain rescue and it comes complete with some amazing sounds. Let's take a little look. And next up is Station of Steel and he wants to show you the new state-of-the-art Jupiter. It's got a whole lifting system on the top to rescue people from high up. Let's take a look what else it has. It's got a hose and reel inside and lots of compartments. It's got a whole section here which extends and you can rescue people high or low. But the sirens, the sirens are the best. And now we've got the super amazing Nurse Flood. She's holding her fire helmet just in case and she's right by her emergency ambulance. Looks like Nurse Flood might be needed. Quick, let's turn the ambulance lights on. Penny would love to show you her amazing state-of-the-art water carrier, Venus. This is used to put out fires when a lot of water is needed and acts as a backup to help Jupiter. Let's see what sounds it makes. Penny, let's get the water to that fire right now! And the steps are all ready to walk down. Fireman Sam is all suited and booted and wants to show you Neptune, the sea rescue vehicle. It goes at super fast high speeds and it has safety features where he can stand in and strap himself on so he can't fall off when he's driving it. Let's take a look at him in action. He's strapped in safely now and he's ready to go. Bye! Over here we've got an American fire engine all the way from New York with an American firefighter. Just look at their different outfits and how different it is. Sounds like there's been an emergency. Let's see if there's a police officer on hand. Looks 
like this American cop on duty over here. Let's take a look around his huge police vehicle. It looks like it's a Tonka truck. down there at the bottom of the fire station. That looks like Naughty Norman. He looks like he's up to something. Naughty Norman found a fire bucket at the bottom of the fireman's pole. Oh no, how silly Naughty Norman. You've got that fire bucket stuck on your head now. Norman, how silly. It looks like you needed a hand getting that fire bucket off your head. Well, I tell you, stop getting yourself into trouble. I tell you what, to keep you out of mischief, I'm going to let go down the Vyman's pole. Come on then, climb up to the top and whiz right down. So Naughty Norman climbed all the way to the top and he was about to go when... Woo! Well, I hope you found that fun, Norman. But no more sneaking into the fire station out of hours. Only come and have a chat when myself or Fireman Sam are here to look after you safely. Four boxes are going to appear now. Click on one to continue the fun. This is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So today we're going to take a look at Fireman Sam Ocean Rescue Vehicles and here are five of my favourites. Firstly we have Titan. Titan is a ship on wheels and it has two super soaking hoses, one at either end. Fireman Sam is already in his emergency service wear uh, with a life jacket on and we have radar on the back there. Titan can be used either in a harbour or out at deep sea to rescue people or to attend any emergency. Next we have Fireman Sam steering Neptune. Neptune attends many emergencies on rivers, in harbours and out at sea. Elvis Cridlington wants to come along for a ride, so he has his life jacket on, so that will be okay. We'll put the safety harness around Elvis because Neptune can go very fast. And next is the Mini Neptune. This is a great toy because it can be winched up and down, in and out of the new Ocean Rescue playset. Very cool. And here is Fireman Sam on Juno the jet ski. The jet ski is used when Fireman Sam needs to get to an emergency very quickly. Also, Juno can be winched in and out of the Ocean Rescue Centre. And lastly, we have Tom Thomas in Wallaby One. And here he comes now a nice smooth landing. Wallaby One is used in all sorts of emergency rescues including looking for people, putting out fires and also winching people to safety. So if you like Fireman Sam don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Take care and bye for now. Goodbye.
This is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today I've got 10 magnificent Fireman Sam vehicles to share with you. So let's take a close look. So first up we have Fireman Sam in Neptune. Neptune launches from Ocean Rescue and helps with rescues at sea or on lakes. Here we have Fireman Sam on a remote control Mercury. Mercury is an all-terrain vehicle, so he can go just about anywhere. Awesome! And here comes Venus. And who's that hanging out the side? It's Station Officer Steel. I'm not sure he should be travelling that way. Venus is Ponty Pandy's water carrier and this particular toy has lots of sounds. And a special feature of Venus, this particular toy, is it has a working hose. Cool! And here we have Wallaby Run. And it's piloted by Tom Thomas. Wallaby One is a very important vehicle and it's the helicopter that they use in rescues. And here comes the yellow 4x4 mountain rescue vehicle. And it features Fireman Sam. This is an amazing vehicle. It has huge wheels, the doors open, it's got luggage on the top and even a spare tyre. And also, it opens at the back. That's a top vehicle, Fireman Sam. And our next vehicle is Phoenix. And it features Mike Flood, he's helping out today. So at the front, we have a winch. Both the doors open. It has huge tyres and also it has a door either side but more importantly it has a crane. This can be so useful in hauling up heavy items such as cars from ditches and even animals. And here's our last fireman sand vehicle. comments below which is your favourite. Please subscribe.
Bow.
Calling all emergency vehicles, all emergency vehicles to attend Highway 31 Junction 2. There's a major pile-up. All vehicles to attend.
this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. Well you've joined me today and I'm here with Fireman Sam and we're at the Vancouver Fire Station. Fireman Sam is looking rather glum today. There's been so much snow and especially overnight there's been a huge snowfall. So he needs big help big time. What's that I hear? Is that Minnie and Eric playing the guitar? Yes it is and he wants to give him a tune to cheer him up. Well, I'm a Sam, thanks Eric, but he needs help of a different kind. What's that Fireman Sam can hear? He can hear the sound of heavy machinery in the distance. He knows what that means. It means the construction of vehicles from Caterpillar. And they will have all of the snow moved in no time. There is a bulldozer. A wheel loader. And we have a dump truck reversing. Good stuff, says Fireman Sam. This is going to be gone in no time. Simon Sam is much happier now that all the snow has been cleared. It was cleared away in super quick time. So Simon Sam decides to offer the very cold guys now a cup of steaming hot hot chocolate. Well done Simon Sam and well done to the construction team. Take care then guys and thanks for dropping in. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and if you like my video please give me the thumbs up. And if you'd like to share with your friends on Google+, Facebook or Twitter, I'd really appreciate that. So take care and bye for now.
Hello. So you joined us in Ponty Pandy today and there seems to be a lot of clonking and banging going on. Mike Flood is having more fan trouble but this is serious. He's got his serious tools and he's using his hammer. And then his wife Helen Flood comes out to see him to see how things are going. Helen said, what's that smell Mike? Oh no, I've left the world of matic on. And now my lovely workshop is on fire. We need Fireman Sam, says Helen. Sure enough, inside the lovely workshop, the flames were building. Mike Flood calls the fire station. Back at the station, the master alarm went off and station officer still received a message from Mike Flood. What's this then? Mike Flood's in danger. He's left his world a maticon and now his lovely workshop has gone up in flames. I need to get my best team on it now. But where's Fireman Sam? And where's Elvis Cricklington? And here they come now. They're on Mercury and they're pretending to be cowboys. Come on chaps, says Station Officer Still. Mike Flood's in trouble. He needs your help. No more shenanigans on Mercury, says Station Officer Still. He sounded a bit cross. OK, says Fireman Sam, we're on it. And both of them jumped into Jupiter immediately. While well, Mike Flood and Helen Flood were waiting for Fireman Sam to arrive in Jupiter, they were trying to put the flames out themselves with fire extinguishers. But they were just not good enough. Come on, Fireman Sam, says Helen. We really need your help. Elvis backs in Jupiter into position so that Fireman Sam can put all the flames out. Don't worry, says Fireman Sam to Mike and Helen Flood. I'll have these flames out in no time. Nearly there, says Mike Flood. And I'll just need to turn up the power for the last little bit. Well done, Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam says, please subscribe. Naughty Norman was feeling particularly mischievous today. It's a Saturday and he was out and about in his go-kart. Dillis Price was just about to shut her shop and said to Norman, you can go out for an hour and then I want you back for your tea. Oh mum, I'll be back, don't worry. And with that, he raced off. I don't know, said Dillis to herself, that Norman will be the death of me. Norman felt that it was getting a little colder and then he noticed it was starting to snow. Oh, cool, he thought, but he didn't realise how dangerous it was going to be. The snow was starting to lay. Then it turned out to be a bit of a whiteout. Naughty Norman was in trouble. He got out of his little go-kart and he just didn't know what to do. But he thought to himself, I know, I'll climb up this snowy ridge. And he did. It turned out to be a cavern full of snow and Naughty Norman slipped. And he fell right into the centre. 
Tom Thomas was out and about in Wallaby Run, and he had seen just what happened to Norman, so he ran through the emergency to the emergency control centre at the fire station in Ponty Pandy. Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington arrived in Jupiter and they could see poor naughty Norman Price in the distance. Poor Norman, he really needs our help, said Fireman Sam. I know, I've got a top idea. Fireman Sam popped into the emergency rescue basket and Elvis Cridlington pushed him across the ice towards naughty Norman. Naughty Norman was freezing. Fireman Sam reassured Naughty Norman, Don't worry Norman, we'll have you out of here in no time. Poor Norman was shivering and he was turning blue. Norman managed to pull himself up onto the ridge. Fireman Sam grabbed hold of him quickly and rescued him into the emergency basket. Naughty Norman was safely in the basket with Fireman Sam, but the drama wasn't over. Elvis Gridlington needed to hook up the fire rescue vehicle to the basket and winch them off the ice. This new fire rescue vehicle is a top new addition to all of the fire rescue vehicles that they have in Ponty Pandy and Elvis Gridlington hooked up the basket with the winch. He was able to drag them both to safety. That was a top job Elvis, but we need to get this young lad home to where it's nice and warm and dry. So they hopped into Jupiter, back to Ponty Pandy. So if you like Fireman Sam, and if you like toys, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also, four boxes will appear. Be sure to press on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun. This is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today I've got this amazing toy to share with you it's the Fireman Sam fire station and this one includes Elvis so it says uh, look at the back to see inside Ooh, this sounds exciting oh wow and Elvis is inside there and there's a fireman's pole as well and here it says it includes Elvis the figure, a flip down fire feature, opening garage doors and a working fireman's pole. So this is super cool guys and we've even got a gut double garage door there as well. Let's unbox this wonderful toy and take a closer look shall we? Okay so let's open it from the bottom. And we all need a screwdriver. Okay, so I just undo the last little bit. Oh, I don't need to undo this screw a little bit more. Okay. This is inside uh, the inside view of the fire station and here's the front. So we'll just take it out. Oh, yeah. Just get rid of the packaging. And 
did just take out this string. There's lots of packaging inside. Okay, so here's our finest pole. And of course, here's Elvis. So we just need to take all of this off to get him out. Ready for action. And let's try him on the fireman's pole. So we just clip him on there. Okay, here he comes. Cool. And let's just swing around and take a look inside the fire station. All the equipment there, the helmets and uh, the oxygen cylinders, also a cabinet for them to keep their uniforms and uh, the alarm, and of course the garage doors that just flip open, and also flames that flip down, which is very cool. And now boys and girls, it's time for a story. Featuring Elvis, Fireman Sam, Mike Flood, Naughty Norman, and the forklift truck. It's a busy day in Ponty Pandy today. Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington are checking things out just to make sure that they're all a okay. So, firstly, they're going to check out Jupiter. check out the master alarm yes that's working very well and Elvis wants to try out the fireman's pole and it's working just fine meanwhile over at Mike Flood's workshop Mike is waiting for a special delivery he's waiting for some special tools they are going to be delivered on a forklift truck. He is so excited and he can see the forklift coming now. But the forklift truck seems to be unbalanced and oh my goodness, it's knocking over Mike and the cargo is gone and now so is the forklift and the forklift truck burst into flames. It was Naughty Norman in the cargo box that made the forklift so unbalanced it toppled over. Norman could see that Mike Flood, his friend, was in danger, so he dragged him out of the way. Naughty Norman made sure that Mike Flood was okay. He sat him up next to his van. Thank goodness that Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington were just next door and Fireman Sam had seen what had happened. So they sprung into action to put out the flames. Here's Fireman Sam now with the super soaker. He'll have those flames out in no time. Done, Fireman Sam. You've saved the day. With Elvis's help, Fireman Sam managed to turn the forklift truck up the right way. And the driver was just fine. And off he went to make more deliveries. I need to have a word with him. And as usual, Norman was nowhere to be seen. He was hitching a ride on the back of the forklift, no doubt heading for more trouble. So then guys, if you like Vine and Sam and if you like toys, be sure to touch on the like button. Also, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel and you can see the videos first. 
and for more Fireman and Sound fun, touch on one of the four boxes that will shortly appear. Beautifully hot sunny Sunday afternoon in Ponty Pandy, and the folk of Ponty Pandy are waiting at the tram stop. They're waiting for Trevor Evans. They plan to have a trip around the village and to end up at the beach. They are all prepared for their trip. They've bought their swimming costumes. Dennis Price has packed some sandwiches. Helen Flood has got some sausage rolls. And Radar is so excited to be going into the sea and he might catch a stick or two. They had only been waiting a few minutes and naughty Norman Price was already bored. Oh ma'am, where's the tram? Where's Trevor Evans? Norman, behave yourself. I hope my Norman doesn't go too far and I hope he doesn't get into any mischief, says Dillis Price. <laughs> it's the purple minion driving a bulldozer with naughty Norman in the scoop. enough of falling out of the scoop, but the purple minion takes the bulldozer off on his own. But he's not passed his driving test. Oh my goodness, this could be mayhem. Trevor Evans in the tram and neither of them can stop. Look out Purple Minion, you're going to cause an accident. And sure enough the Purple Minion crashed into the tram and it burst into flames. The bulldozer toppled over and so did the Purple Minion straight to the ground. Trevor Evans ran down to the end of the tram. Opened the doors, hopped off quickly and got out of harm's way. But the flames were spreading. What about the poor purple minion? Mike Flood was on hand to help. And he pulled the purple minion out of the way. Purple Minion seemed to be fine, but Helen Flood, the local Ponty Pandy nurse, came over and made sure that he was a-okay. Oh no, look at my lovely tram, says Trevor Evans. I know, I need to call Fireman Sam. So Trevor Evans used his nice new shiny phone to ring for Fireman Sam. He had no doubt that he would be there super fast.
Trevor Evans can hear a siren in the distance. He can hear Jupiter coming. Here's Jupiter now, being driven by Fireman Sam and his bull Elvis Cridlington and also Penny Morris to help with the emergency. It was all hands to the deck. Mike Flood had a super duper fire extinguisher. Fireman Sam had the super soaking hose. Elvis Cridlington was on the super soaker. And even Nurse Flood and Trevor Evans had buckets of water on standby just in case. So the brave firefighters got to work. OK team, let's get to work and get these flames put out. Everybody work quickly and work together. says Mike Flood. Thank goodness for that. And the flames were out. And the folk of Ponty Pandy cheered. So then boys and girls, if you like toys and if you like Fireman Sam, be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe. Also, four boxes will appear. Tap on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun. It's a beautifully hot sunny Sunday afternoon in Ponty Pandy and the folk of Ponty Pandy are waiting at the tram stop. They're waiting for Trevor Evans. They plan to have a trip around the village and to end up at the beach. They are all prepared for their trip. They've bought their swimming costumes. Dillis Price has packed some sandwiches. Helen Flood has got some sausage rolls and Radar is so excited to be going into the sea and he might catch a stick or two. They had only been waiting a few minutes and naughty Norman Price was already bored. Oh ma'am, where's the tram? Where's Trevor Evans? Norman, behave yourself. He won't be long, said Dillis Price. But Norman wanted to have a run around. So he started to chase the purple minion. But luckily Trevor Evans turned up in the tram in the nick of time before Naughty Norman and the purple minion could get into too much trouble. It's a beautiful city liner tram and Trevor Evans is very proud of it and spent all day long yesterday cleaning and polishing it. I'll do folks, says Trevor Evans. Right, all aboard my lovely tram and off we go. So first on board were the Flood family. That's Mike Flood, Helen Flood and their little girl Mandy. They couldn't wait to spend a lovely day together in the sunshine. And next it's Dillis Price's turn to get onto the tram. She's bought a long radar. She can't wait to spend the time by the sea and also with Trevor Evans. She's a little bit sweet on Trevor Evans, so she's going to have a lovely day. And lastly, Naughty Norman Price and the Purple Minion need to get on. But where are they? They've opened the doors behind Trevor Evans and are going to sneak in there. Oh, they are being mischievous. Well, everybody's on board, so it's time to head off. Trevor Evans was just making sure that his passengers were comfortable. Ah, oh, righty-ho, let's be on our way. Trevor shut the tram door and off he went. But 
here comes the Road Ripper's dumper truck. It was swerving all over the place. The back of the truck was full of M&Ms. Tipper truck has lost its load of M&Ms and they're all over the tram track and the road. But goodness me, the front of the vehicle is smoking. And the flames spread to the tram. Trevor Evans leapt out of the tram and made sure all of his passengers were standing at a safe distance away. The purple minion was feeling a little scared but Nurse Flood comforted him and made sure that he was all okay. Goodness me, said Trevor Evans. The flames are spreading. I need to get help quick. I need to ring Fireman Sam. Sam now in Jupiter and his bought Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris to help with the emergency. Elvis Cridlington's in charge of crowd control. He's making sure that everybody keeps well back and at a safe distance, especially that naughty Norman Price. Great fires of London, says Fireman Sam. This fire is beginning to take hold. We need to act quickly, Penny. You go on the super soaker and I'll get the super soaking hose. Penny stayed cool and calm and she was soon able to put out the flames on the tram. Well done, Penny. And working together, Penny Morris and Fireman Sam soon put out the flames on the truck. Last surge of water then, Penny, and it'll soon be out. I'm on it, says Penny Morris. And with that, the flames were out. And with that, the crowd let out a huge roar. And Trevor Evans couldn't thank the firefighters at Ponty Pandy enough. It's all in our day's work, says Fireman Sam. I know, says Trevor Evans, but you were just amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So then, guys, if you like toys and if you like Fireman Sam, be sure to touch one of the boxes that will appear shortly to continue the toy fun. guys this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club so we've got three exciting firemen's and fire stations for you today and let's take a look at the first so we have firefighter Penny Morris on Mercury and we have Elvis Cridlington he's going to help demonstrate the fire station garage doors so let's see what happens when I do this <gasps> wow that's fantastic! Fireman Sam is up on the balcony and let's take a look inside. It's a hive of activity in the station. Elvis Cridlington is cooking something tasty. It's his special spaghetti bolognese. 
Dillis fries and Helen Flood have set the table with some delicious looking cakes and even a birthday cake. Penny Morris is going to demonstrate the fireman's pole. Cool! And station officer still is manning mission control. Inside is a special emergency vehicle turntable. And here comes Fireman Sam now. And here's our next fire station now. This one comes with a handy carrying handle. And here comes firefighter Penny Morris. She's going to help us check it out. Awesome, says Penny. And here's Fireman Sam. He's going to help demonstrate the folding so doors. So Penny operates the station doors. And what can we see inside? It's Fireman Sam in Jupiter. There's a side door that Elvis is demonstrating and Milton Woman is checking out the fireman's pole. Cool! And this is what they use to refill Jupiter's water tank. And here we have Fireman Sam in Venus. And here we have Elvis Cripplington in the Mountain Rescue 4x4 vehicle. So Fireman Sam is going to turn on the station lights. Wow, that's cool! Wellington is going to open the station door. And inside is one of the emergency vehicles, Phoenix. Thomas is taking a little nap after a busy night of rescuing somebody at sea. Helen Flood and Penny Morris are checking the emergency first aid kit. Station officer still has the very important job of manning station control. And Fireman Sam is checking out the fireman's pole. Aha, that's always very cool, says Fireman Sam. And Fireman Sam has a special message for you boys and girls. If you like Fireman Sam toys, and if you like Fireman Sam stories, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also, four boxes will appear. Touch on one of those boxes to continue the Fireman Sam fun. guys this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today I've got this amazing toy to share with you it's the Fireman Sam fire station and this one includes Elvis so it says uh, look at the back to see inside Ooh, this sounds exciting oh wow and Elvis is inside there and there's a fireman's pole as well and here it says it includes Elvis the figure, a flip down fire feature, opening garage doors and a working fireman's pole. So this is super cool guys and we've even got a gut double garage door there as well. Let's unbox this wonderful toy and take a closer look shall we? Okay so let's open it from the bottom. And we all need a screwdriver. Okay, so I'll just undo the last little bit. 
Do this screw a little bit more. Okay. So this is inside uh, the inside view of the fire station, and here's the front. So we'll just take it out. Oh, hang on. Just get rid of the packaging and we'll just take out this string. There's lots of packaging inside. Okay, so here's our finest pole, and of course, here's Elvis. So we just need to take all of this off to get him out. for action and let's try him on the fireman's pole so we just clip him on there okay here he comes cool and let's just swing around and take a look inside the fire station all the equipment there, the helmets and uh, the oxygen cylinders, also a cabinet for them to keep their uniforms and uh, the alarm and of course the garage doors that just flip open and also flames that flip down which is very cool. And now boys and girls it's time for a story featuring Elvis, Fireman Sam, Mike Flood, Naughty Norman and the forklift truck. It's a busy day in Ponty Pandy today. Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington are checking things out just to make sure that they're all a-okay. So firstly they're going to check out Jupiter check out the master alarm yes that's working very well and Elvis wants to try out the fireman's pole and it's working just fine meanwhile over at Mike Flood's workshop Mike is waiting for a special delivery he's waiting for some special tools they are going to be delivered on a forklift truck. He is so excited and he can see the forklift coming now. But the forklift truck seems to be unbalanced and oh my goodness, it's knocking over Mike and the cargo is gone and now so is the forklift and the forklift truck burst into flames. It was Naughty Norman in the cargo box that made the forklift so unbalanced it toppled over. Norman could see that Mike Flood, his friend, was in danger, so he dragged him out of the way. Naughty Norman made sure that Mike Flood was okay. He sat him up next to his van. Thank goodness that Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington were just next door and Fireman Sam had seen what had happened. So they sprung into action to put out the flames. Here's Fireman Sam now with the super soaker. He'll have those flames out in no time. Done, Fireman Sam. You've saved the day. With Elvis's help, Fireman Sam managed to turn the forklift truck up the right way. And the driver was just fine. And off he went to make more deliveries. Now, where 
is that naughty Norman Price? I need to have a word with him. And as usual, Norman was nowhere to be seen. He was hitching a ride on the back of the forklift, no doubt heading for more trouble. So then guys, if you like Brian and Sam and if you like toys, be sure to touch on the like button. Also, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel and you can see the videos first. And for more Fireman Sam fun, touch on one of the four boxes that will shortly appear. Naughty Norman was feeling particularly mischievous today. It's a Saturday and he was out and about in his go-kart. Dillis Price was just about to shut her shop and said to Norman, you can go out for an hour and then I want you back for your tea. Oh mum, I'll be back, don't worry. And with that, he raced off. I don't know, said Dillis to herself, that Norman will be the death of me. Norman felt that it was getting a little colder and then he noticed it was starting to snow. Oh, cool, he thought, but he didn't realise how dangerous it was going to be. The snow was starting to lay. And then it turned out to be a bit of a whiteout. Naughty Norman was in trouble. He got out of his little go-kart and he just didn't know what to do. But he thought to himself, I know, I'll climb up this snowy ridge. And he did. It turned out to be a cavern for the snow and Naughty Norman slipped. And he fell right into the centre. Tom Thomas was out and about in Wallaby Hill and he had seen just what happened to Norman so he ran through the emergency to the emergency control centre at the fire station in Ponty Pandy. Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington arrived in Jupiter and they could see poor naughty Norman Price in the distance. Poor Norman, he really needs our help, said Fireman Sam. I know, I've got a top idea. Fireman Sam popped into the emergency rescue basket and Elvis Cridlington pushed him across the ice towards naughty Norman. Naughty Norman was freezing. Fireman Sam reassured Naughty Norman, don't worry Norman, we'll have you out of here in no time. Poor Norman was shivering and he was turning blue. Norman managed to pull himself up onto the ridge. Fireman Sam grabbed hold of him quickly and rescued him into the emergency basket. Naughty Norman was safely in the basket with Fireman Sam, but the drama wasn't over. Elvis Cridlington needed to hook up the fire rescue vehicle to the basket and winch them off the ice. 
This new fire rescue vehicle is a top new addition to all of the fire rescue vehicles that they have in Ponty Pandy and Elvis Cridlington hooked up the basket with the winch. He was able to drag them both to safety. That was a top job Elvis, but we need to get this young lad home to where it's nice and warm and dry. So they hopped into Jupiter back to Ponty Pandy. So if you like Fireman Sam and if you like toys, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also, four boxes will appear. Be sure to press on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun. Welcome to MG Tracy. Well, today you join us, Fireman Sam, with his dog radar and Peppa Pig are getting some sodas in the shop. It's a hot day and they're thirsty. When all of a sudden, the master alarm was sounded. Great fires of London, said Fireman Sam. That's the main alarm. It's an emergency. Back to Jupiter, quick. Sam and Sam and Peppa Pig ran outside and they just could not believe what they saw. Almost every building was on fire in Ponty Pandy. Quick, I've got to get to Jupiter. Peppa Pig ran off to get her fire engine to help. Every building in Ponty Pandy was alight. This is what became known as the Great Fire of Ponty Pandy. A fire that everybody talks about. But while Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig went to get their fire engines, the fire continued to burn and poor Rubble was so scared. Oh, this is so bad, said Rubble. Every building is alight. I just can't believe it. All of this was started by just one firework. But in the distance, we could hear the fire engines. They're coming to the rescue of the folk of Ponty Pandy. Thank goodness. Come on, man. Let's go. Here comes Fireman Sam Fire now. Fires of London. We're on our way. Jupiter the base. Jupiter the base. Peppa Pig wasn't far behind with her special fire engine. Here comes Nurse Flood, followed by Station Officer Steel on Bessie. We need every emergency vehicle for a fire of this size. Here's Elvis and Tom Thomas now with Venus. All the vehicles are being positioned, ready to put out all of the fires. My goodness, no one has ever seen anything like this great fire of Ponty Pandy. Sam gets the hose out of Jupiter and makes a start on the first building. First Sam checks if anyone's in the building, but luckily everyone's got out safely. It's just a question of getting those fires out. 
good. That's the first flames dealt with. That's the second window with the fire put out. Now just for the last one. Excellent, says Sam. That first building's dealt with. Let's see how Pepper's getting on with Mike's garage. Pepper and Rubble get out the fire extinguisher so they can work on the next fire. And as quick as a flash, the first fire is out in the tower. And then Mike's garage is saved. And that fire is also out. Now on to the next fire. Here, with the help of Bessie, Station Officer Steele is dealing with the next fire. Thank goodness, he says, as that fire is extinguished as well. Bessie may be old, but she's still brilliant. With no men injured and no casualties, moves the ambulance out of the way so Fireman Sam can deal with the shot fire. Sam jumps out, ready to deal with this next emergency. And soon he has the first of the fires out in the shop. Now it's just the next fire to deal with. This fire is a bit more stubborn, it just doesn't seem to want to go out. But Fireman Sam battles on. Finally, that fire's out as well. Well done, Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam runs over to help Elvis and Tom Thomas, who are still trying to put out the final fire, actually in the fire station. Leave this to me, said Fireman Sam. And very soon he's in the thick of it, trying to put out the last fire. <gasps> and he does. Well done Fireman Sam, well done Elvis, and well done Tom Thomas. Everyone's helped out here from Rubble, Pepper Pig, Nurse Flood, and Station Officer Steel. This has been a true team effort, and it just shows what you can do when everybody pulls together and works together in such an emergency. The great fire of Pontypandy has been extinguished and no one's been hurt. That's great news. So please like, share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Bye bye for now. Goodbye. Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So today I've got a Ponty Pandy rescue set to share with you. And together we can create the world of Fireman Sam. So there are three figures in this set. We've got Station Officer Steel, Fireman Sam and Tom Thomas. There are two vehicles, there's Venus and Wallaby One. It also comes with a rotating turntable, a built-in carrying handle and also a twist to hear the alarm bell. And on the side of the box it tells us all about other vehicles and other buildings that we can collect to create the world of Fireman Sam. And also available are ocean rescue vehicles and buildings and mountain rescue vehicles and a building there. So then guys, I can't wait to see what's in the box, so let's take a look, shall we?
Oh, wow. Oh, this is amazing. Let's take a close look at our fire station. So it has the uh, Fireman Sam logo and badges on the front there. Lights on either side, a window. And also has the folding doors that the vehicles come in and out of the station through. And it opens up inside. There's a little clip that you can keep the station together. It opens up to reveal the station. And on the side, we have a bell and there's a fireman's pole and there's little sections that we can put different things in as we go and here the set comes with a bag of goodies let's take a look at what we've got here we have our three figures station officer still tom thomas and fireman sam and there's a station control set, table, two chairs, there's a fire bucket, fire extinguisher, a handle, two pieces that I'm not sure, that might go on the uh, Wallaby one, I'm not sure what this piece is for yet, but we've got some um, metal cutters and um, a a strap for something that might be for wallaby one as well that might be a safety harness and there's also a cupboard to keep all of the firefighters uniforms and also we have a ladder let's fill up our fire station of ponty pandy full of fireman sand things And next in our set we have Wallaby One. So it's a lovely bright orange colour. And here's the rotor blades. And here's the winch on the side. So I think that this hooks onto here. And also we have Tom Thomas that we can put in the front. Here's our pilot, Tom Thomas, all ready for takeoff. Just take a close look at this fantastic Wallaby One. And Wallaby One even has a rescue belt. And Fireman Sam is demonstrating how it works. That's amazing, says Fireman Sam. And next we have Venus. And Venus is the water carrier. And this is what our Venus looks like. So it's bright red and yellow all over. There's um, a tow bar at the back. This is the water tank with the hose on the top. And we've got the wing mirrors on either side. We've got the lights and the horns at the front. And there's a little steering wheel. The doors open so we can put some figures inside. And there we are. We can fit Fireman Sam in the driver's position and Station Officer Steel inside. Let's take another close look inside. And here we have Tom Thomas in the kitchen area. And it includes a cooker, a toaster and a kettle and a nice table and chairs and on the ground floor we have the station doors where all the vehicles come in and out and a safety poster and upstairs on the other side is where station officer still receives all of the information about the emergencies and the firefighters can come down the fireman's pole instead of using the ladder That's cool. And we have the bell, the 
there's a station picture of all of the crew. There's a station bell on the inside that can ring and also there's first aid cupboard on the wall. And of course we have the fireman's helmets, the oxygen cylinders and all of the equipment that they can store inside their cabinets. And lastly we have the rotating turntable that can turn the vehicles around as they come into the station. So first up here comes Venus. Let's turn her around shall we? That's awesome, Fireman Sam. How about Tom Thomas in Wallaby Run? And here we go. So this is an absolutely amazing playset and it's the Ponty Pandy Rescue Set and it included Fireman Sam, Station Officer Steel, Wallaby One and Venus. And of course we've got the carry along fire station with all the accessories. So if you like Fireman Sam and if you like toys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come back for a whole lot more.
This is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today we're looking at a Fireman San mini rescue play set featuring Jupiter. So this is in um, a range of click and collect and so there are other types of mini play sets to collect. There's the Ocean Rescue Centre and also the Fireman San Fire Station. So let's unbox it and take a look. inside the bottom here we have all of our pieces so they can just slide out oh and we've got stickers as well cardboard pieces and some instructions it looks like we've got a ramp there Here we have the rest of the pieces. That looks like a little turntable. And so we've got some other pieces to keep on. And it looks like we've got the front of the fire station. And this is our last piece. Okay guys, let's get building. there you go then guys that's the fireman sam mini rescue playset which clicks into the fireman sam mini rescue animal hospital playset and i've also added an animal rescue vehicle with a trailer and venus jupiter and phoenix so if you like fireman sam and if you like toys be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to the mg tracy channel also, you'll see four boxes that will appear. Touch on one of those boxes to continue the Fireman Sam fun. <laughs> 